types of PCR. Recently, different variations of PCR have been developed that are based on the basic uh, PCR methodology or reaction. And these modifications or variations have uh, increased the performance as well as specificity of the reaction. Or is ke ilawa, jo modifi modified forms in PCR ki, is ko dusre jo molecule hai, uh, nucleic acid ke like RNA, us ki amplification ke liye bhi use kiya ja sakta hai. So, uh, one of the variation that we are going to discuss uh, in next uh, topic, it is uh, RT-PCR, reverse transcriptase PCR. This RT-PCR, it is used to amplify or to convert the RNA molecule, especially the messenger RNA into DNA. So, one can say that by using this technique, we can convert the messenger RNA into a type of DNA which is called as complementary or cDNA. And this is accomplished by using a, a special type of enzymes that are called as reverse transcriptases. It was discovered that certain viruses like the retroviruses that have the nucleic acid in the form of RNA, they can use the reverse transcriptase to convert its RNA into DNA during the replication process. So, this ability of uh, reverse transcriptases have been uh, used to convert the RNA molecule into cDNA molecule. In conventional PCR, the, the enzyme that we are going to use, it is thermostable DNA polymerase and it can only amplify the DNA template. So, we can say that it will not uh, amplify the RNA molecule. So, because of this reason, reverse transcriptases, they have been used because sometimes it is desirable to uh, study different uh, processes like uh, the gene expression in different tissues, that how genes are transcribed and how they are expressed. And even in gene cloning procedure, uh, sometime we require that uh, it, may, it may be converted into DNA molecule, which is called as the cDNA. So, uh, for this purpose, we need DNA template that is formed from the messenger RNA by reverse transcription. So, so that we can provide the DNA polymerase with DNA template in the form of cDNA. So, this process where we use reverse transcriptase enzyme to produce a copy of cDNA, it is uh, called as reverse transcriptase PCR or simply RT-PCR. Now, the question is that uh, uh, what may be the source of reverse transcriptases? Uh, source may be a different type of viruses like uh, avian myeloblastosis virus or other viruses like the melony uh, uh, melony or uh, in other words one can say that the leukemia virus uh, they may be the sources of reverse transcriptases by using these enzyme the first strand of the cdn it can be synthesized by using different strategies. Okay, mare paas messenger RNA hai. Reverse transcriptase ko use karte huye. Hum, jo first strand hai cDNA ka, wo kaise synthesize kar sakte hai. So, one of the method is that uh, we can use random priming method. That uh, we can use primer that can randomly bind with the target sequence of the messenger RNA. Another method is that we can use uh, a short stretch of thymine residue as a primer. And the third method is that the sequence specific primer uh, can be used for this purpose. So, what may be the strategy? We are going to discuss in the next slide.
and these strategies may be first one it is random priming that is random primer can be used for the first strand biosynthesis of the cDNA and here these are different sites where primers they can bind randomly with the target messenger RNA the second type to use a short stretch of thymine residue or oligonucleotide. if you have the idea from our previous discussion that messenger RNA at the 3 prime end it contain a short stretch of adenine residue that may be up to 200 adenine residue and these against these residues a short stretch of oligonucleotide that composed of thymine they can be constructed and can be used as a primer so that the first strand biosynthesis is there the third is that sequence sequence specific primers can be used so for this purpose we must have the idea about the sequence of the messenger RNA so these are the three main strategies that can be used for the synthesis of first strand of messenger RNA so by using these strategies now we can generate our cDNA as I told you that the main step that is involved it is by using a short stretch of thymine residue that can be used as a primer it is the most common step that is used for the generation of cDNA so the basic reaction we can explain with the help of another diagram that how we can synthesize the cDNA so first step it is the first strand cDNA biosynthesis and reverse transcriptase enzyme it is involved here and this is the thymine primer that is complementary with the adenine residue so ultimately it will lead to the synthesis of first strand of cDNA then in the second reaction uh, we can start the synthesis of the double stranded DNA so using cDNA product we can use that uh, we can synthesize the uh, double strand of the DNA molecule although first if you cycle they are biased this sense me your bias and give uh, barber first strand is synthesized carrying you can either for double stranded DNA generate ho jai uski copies are jai so here is ki jo amplification hai ye exponential ho jati hai and then we will get the double stranded uh, cDNA molecules 